Welcome to Mika's cooking show. I don't think I've ever made a cooking video and this setup is like way too professional for me so I'm sorry if I mess up because I I I love vlogging way more than making professional videos but in honor of Valentine's Day how could I not? I had to make something a little more professional and fancy so I decided to think of three treats to make for Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow. So today is the 13th and um, they're all gonna be pink desserts, all inspired by love, red and pink, you know, roses. It's gonna be feminine and beautiful visually and hopefully beautiful in taste wise. However, I am on an OMAD diet and I've actually already eaten, so technically I can't really eat the stuff that I make today. But hopefully it's going to end up tasting really nice. The very first thing that we're going to make today uh, are, is our marshmallow treats. Well, technically it's not a treat because it's literally just mar melted marshmallows because I don't have any cereal to pair with the marshmallows. So we're just going to have, this is a zero dollar budget of treats okay guys i'm spending zero dollars it's all from my kitchen and it's probably expired food but whatever let's just you know get started so the first thing i'm going to do is melt these beautiful maple marshmallows into the microwave and then once i'm done that i'll be back and start on the next step whoa look they're, they've puffed up. Wow. That is insane. That looks amazing. However, they're not fully melted. I'm going to cut a little bit of the butter and put it inside the marshmallows. Guys, while I'm waiting for the marshmallows to melt, I'm going to, you know, it's time for poetry and I'm gonna be reading out some of my favorite pickup lines that you can use on your crush um, and hopefully find love this year. Since all the libraries are closed now, I guess I'll be checking you out. <laughs> Baby, do you need toilet paper? Because I can be your Prince Charmin. This looks like melted poop. Oh, it literally looks like diarrhea. Look at this. Ew, I just... Whoa, okay. This is more like it dang loki looks like slime but i guess this will do it's pretty pink i think i put a little bit too much food coloring i wanted to go for a ballet pink beautiful feminine you know not crazy hot pink bubble gum but whatever this will do so next thing that i'm gonna have to do is put this onto this sheet right here and i'm gonna flatten it out and put it in the freezer so it can set quickly ew this looks so unappetizing like i'm i could literally really hot this is really hot i think it's because of the sugar i think sugars like oil get super duper hot okay but anyway Oh my gosh, it's like I'm giving CPR to this heart. Okie dokes, now that the uh, marshmallow slime treat has uh, finished, we're going to work on the next one, which is hummus. 
And um, in this bowl, I have uh, cooked chickpeas with, I think my mom put a few pieces of cashews inside because she normally puts cashews in soup and she was making this chickpea to put into her soup or into her curry. So whatever, it's just like two or three pieces of cashew, you know? Like we get extra fat, so that is okay. I am someone who loves to eat super chunky hummus. And I don't like to um, have like super creamy, like homogenous mixture. I just, I don't like that creaminess in my mouth. As I told you guys before, I am a person of texture. I need texture. I need to, I need a chew. I need a bite. Um, I don't like, you know, sipping down applesauces, puddings. Like the, it, there's just, it's just too smooth for my taste buds. So now I'm going to put some color into the hummus. I kind of wish I had beets to dye it. That would be amazing, but I don't, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to make artificial hummus. Also guys, um, we ran out of tahini and the only tahini that we have is um, black sesame paste. And I don't wanna turn this uh, black because that's not what we're doing today. Today's theme is Valentine's Day, so we're gonna work with what we have and I guess just make crushed chickpeas that's pink. That's what we're gonna call this dish. I know you guys are judging me like ew Mika that's not how you make hummus and how could you put food coloring in hummus now or hummus now um I think everything we eat nowadays have food coloring so I don't think that makes a huge difference um and this is this is festivities right of Valentine's Day so I have to make it pink and unfortunately we don't have beets and this is obviously a zero dollar budget um, so I'm using what we have in our kitchen. Good morning, it's a new day. I decided to make the protein pancakes another day because the lighting was getting really dark. So I started off with um, some oatmeal that'll give some carbs and density to the pancakes. Then I put protein um, whey powder. I did two scoops of that. And then after that, I put in some good old cinnamon even though I hate cinnamon, but I guess it, it was just to give it a little kick and some spice. And these bananas, guys, oh my gosh, they're so black, but I guess they're perfect for the sweetness of these pancakes. I put in four because they were legit all rotting. And I believe that the glycemic index is legit the same as like a banana Laffy Taffy. I mean, I might as well just put candy inside this protein recipe, but that's all I had left. And next, I cracked in three old large eggs. And then after that, oh, I put in some vanilla extract, homemade, that Lucas made. And then it was time to blend it all up. And guys, this recipe, it's so thick because there was legit two tablespoons of oat milk inside. So I needed to use my handy dandy black, I don't know, hammer smasher. Basically the tool that is that inserts into the blender and then you can like assist it to like blend more smoothly because this thing, this Vitamix was having trouble trying to blend everything together.
must be in a museum because you are truly work of art. Oh my god, I already messed it up.